واصبر على ما يقولون واهجرهم هجرا جميلا And be patient with what they say and leave them with noble dignity. The Meccan period is a time of training and learning. The Prophet transmits to his companions the greater part of the Qur'an. They imbibe it and they live it. During his life and the beginning part of his mission, he had a very, very difficult task. Permission came to the Prophet to publicly proclaim and to publicly announce the message. He said, listen, I am the messenger of God and I'm bringing you the news of believing in the one God. And to change your ways and your traditions and your cultures, to be truthful. The nature of a true religious discourse is that it's going to agitate problematic elements in the society that it comes to engage. And the Prophet Muhammad was met by the power structure in Mecca with some resistance, um, to say the least. A believer is a reformer of him or herself and the society, and all the powerful don't like it. They came and say, we are going to give you money and, and women, whatever you want we give you. Say, give me the sun or give me the moon. I'm not going to stop. And here the messenger of Allah is the most decent of human beings. When people are cursing at him, they're saying things about his family, they're accusing his character. This begins to catch fire. The Quraysh begin to realize that their strategies are not working. And of course, the Muslims began to reach such a critical mass that the Meccans decide to employ much more oppressive tactics. We know the story of Bilal, radiallahu anhu, how he's dragged into the desert on the burning sun, a boulder placed upon his chest. And he would say, ahadun ahad, one, one, as he was being tortured over and over again. We know the story of Sumayya, the first Muslim to be killed because of her faith. those early companions were confronting a hostile world. The Muslims were being tortured and they needed somewhere to go that was safe. And so the Prophet Muhammad took this opportunity to make a very important decision. He sent them to a land called Abyssinia to be ruled and taken care of by a just king who happened to be a Christian. They take the call of Islam to that great king. And when he sees Ja'far and he sees the other companions, he falls in love with them. Despite all those oppositions and all those obstacles, the message of Islam continued to spread and the light of the Prophet Sallallahu teaching could not be stopped. We also go through hardships, and this shows us what really, really matters, that any hardship that brings us closer to Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Taala is actually good for us. There will be times in which we will go through certain kinds of persecution. We will go through difficulties, but we must remain firm and our firmness is with our kindness, our love, our mercy, our reaching out to individuals. The Prophet ﷺ disarmed his enemies with his compassion. When we come to the example of how, how we should convey Islam, the call, and how Islam rose, it was from simplicity. And the Prophet, peace be upon him, said, 
Make it easy. Don't make it difficult. Don't make people run away. Give them good news. قل إن كنتم تحبون الله فاتبعوني يحببكم الله. حب رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم يشعرك بتفجر الأنوار في قلبك. حبيب الله شفيع الله نبي الله. If you're having trials and tribulations, if you're feeling depressed, anxious, and overwhelmed, if you're feeling like everything around you is falling apart, I urge you to tune in and to learn about the life of the greatest man that ever lived, the Prophet, peace be upon him.